Hi, it's Beep here again. Um, I'm going to be making some runner bean relish, which is very nice. I don't actually have enough uh, runner beans, so I'm going to use French beans, which I did last year, and works just as well. But these are my steps. So I chopped up lots of onions with my machine. My Maggi mix, which is, um, well, very old, as old as we were married. Um, still going strong, a uh, um, finger goes on top, one, and then it all chops it up nicely for me. That was for the onions and for the um, runner beans, one minute. The runner beans I sliced with the same um, machine, but this time they're French beans. And not runner beans, but they are, you can see that they're sliced. I'm now going to boil them up, for get them to boil and boil them for five minutes you to meet little Reggie who's here to help me. Reggie is an amazing cook, aren't you Reggie? Hey? He's uh, been a great help today. I'm making three times the amount for this recipe, that's why there's a lot of onion. But we mix the red onions and the white onions because we're using up the onions that have gone to seed and there was a lot of red onions. Personally, I don't think it makes any difference, red, white. I usually use white, but this time it's going to be a lot of red. I've added vinegar, and I'm now going to bo boil it, boil the onion in the vinegar for 20 minutes. Reggie doesn't like to smell of vinegar. He just wants to make him sneeze. But he's a very good cook, kind you, Reggie? Right under my feet the whole time. So the um, uh, runner beans, French beans have just been boiled for about five minutes so the crunch is still there but they're not raw I'm now going to strain them and now I've put on the super fast for my onions to start boiling I'm going to turn it down now and these will have to boil in the vinegar for about 20 minutes so the French beans or runner beans are in water, onions are in vinegar. Mark is pouring off the boiling water from the runner beans, French beans. And once it's all the water is off, the onions will be added to this. So now the onions have been boiled for uh, 20 minutes, so you can see they've all softened. And now I'll add them together. We also need corn flour, mustard, mustard powder, um, turmeric and mustard seeds and I'm going to mix them now all together with some of the vinegar. I'm going to use some of the cider vinegar I've got. I'm going to add some vinegar to try and make a smooth paste. which is, it soon thickens up, so I have to add a bit more because it can be just too thick. If the smoother you get it, the better because um, it mixes in easier with the, the runner beans, French beans and onions, otherwise you, you're still going to get some lumps. but. That's just life of making chutneys. Don't really want to get this on your clothes. It's uh, turmeric, it's lovely colouring. But you can see I never use an apron. I don't know why, but I don't. Right, see, this is now pretty smooth. And I'm going to add this to the mixture. So the paste is put in the mixture, together with some more vinegar, and you've got to try and mix the whole caboodle together to mix the colouring. Now, after this is mixed in, I'm going to add the sugar as well. And add some demerara sugar. Just 
the sugar will soften the mixture so it becomes a bit slightly more runny. And this is going to boil away for about half an hour until it's fully cooked. Mark is just checking for any lumps. Sugar lumps. Sugar lumps and then putting the, pushing them spoon and hand uh, other two spoons together so that they're dissolved more easily. This has been gurgling away for the last half hour and you can see how it is thickened up and when I stir it you see everything has come nicely together and this is now ready to go into jars. This will keep us till next year. Keeps very well and as it gets older um, it actually becomes even tastier if that's possible. So this is the end product, 14 jars of runner bean chutney and some left in a bowl and some cheese and runner bean relish.